Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guests. What makes a person into the final product of who they are? Is it life experience? Perhaps one or two of those turning points that Abel mentioned last week. Is it where they were born? And whether or not they were able to leave that place of birth and explore the world around them? Growing up, I can honestly say I've had nothing really to complain about. Had anything I could ever want. My parents are still married to this day. I even had a little golden retriever named Mr. Cheeks to fit that perfect little family image. Mm. Now, growing up this way can make someone very spoiled and unappreciative of what they have. Throughout middle school and high school, I was a bit of a troublemaker. Nothing at the time was worth taking seriously. I made mediocre grades, got into a few fist fights, I even had a bad reputation with the girls. Mm. But it's funny how life works. Because that final year of high school, I thought to myself, my future and my education are really important. It was during that time where everybody's applying to colleges, eager to take that next step in life. And with my GPA, I was going nowhere fast. But it was that same year that a flame burned in my heart and in my mind to try to get my GPA to where it needs to be and get accepted into a college. That year I was determined to do whatever I could. And I was actually able to raise my GPA from a 2.0 to a 3.0. And I'm sure of all of you know, there was no way I was getting it anyway. But that's the beauty of life. You know, it presents itself with forks in the road. That you could choose which path to take. And I had one of two options. I could give up on school or whatever, I didn't get into any college. Or I could take that rejection, turn it into motivation, get back on that horse, and keep going and pushing further. Thankfully, I chose the latter. And it was two years at BC that I spent. Uh, during those two years at BC, people began to notice a change in me. My friends began to ask why I wasn't partying with them, going to clubs with them, getting hammered with them on the weekends. <laughs> Even my parents began to notice a change in me that I was studying for many hours throughout the day. To tell you the truth, I was determined. <laughs> in those two years, I decided that I wanted to go to medical school and do whatever I could to become a doctor. Now, the first two years of college may be synonymous with many students as the crazy part of <laughs> years. We are wild and everything's cool. Will you accept this newfound freedom and embrace it? But I took that as an indifferent approach, again, a fork in the road. I decided I had done enough partying in high school, and if I had any chance of getting into medical school, I'd have to push myself as hard as I can. Two years passed by, I was actually able to get into FIU, where I am today, working even harder. I actually plan on applying to medical school at the end of the summer. So I guess you could say this semester for me is extremely crucial. But I also believe there's other factors that go into forming a person and making them who they are. Family for me is extremely important. I'm very close to my family. There's about 14 of us who are living in South Florida. And I can honestly say, I've actually gone paintballing with my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> How many people can say that? Not a lot. <laughs> We try to see each other as much as we can. Last year, we actually did this thing where we picked months out of a hat. And the month you chose, you had to come up with an event for the whole family to do. I've done everything from paintballing to wakeboarding to family Olympics. Even this one time, we did a scavenger hunt at the Sawgrass Mills Mall, where my team won because I had to take off my clothes, strip down to my underwear, and pay less. <laughs> but that's a story I get to another time. <laughs> Family is really big on shaping people. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I had that loving guidance that I think pushed me even further in the direction I wanted to be. But what pushed me over the edge, the icing on the cake, if you will, was this recent trip this past summer to the Peruvian Amazon. I went on a medical mission with a bunch of ophthalmologists and optometrists who were offering surgery and, and prescription glasses to those less fortunate. It was literally an eye-opener, think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was 
able to see how other people lived in the world and how locals made lines for blocks just for a chance to get checked out by a doctor. It's an incredible experience, truly humbling. There was actually one man who after a simple cataract surgery, maybe a 15 minute procedure, several hours he began dancing in the street. He was able to see for the first time after 20 years of being blind. Wow. Incredible. Now for my short 21 years of life experience, I can sit here and tell you all, life, with all its twists and turns, is ultimately what you make it. Take those four mentioned forks in the road to be your friend. They truly shape you and who you become.